with another video at CV Magazine and today we have Mr. Jagdish who is the Executive Director for Pravas 3.0. Good afternoon and welcome to our channel. Uh, it has been a great day, two to three days at Pravas. Uh, congratulations on the wonderful event. We would yeah. like to talk about how are your key takeaways for Pravas 3.0. Okay. So first and foremost what I would like to say is that it's been such a exciting experience to come back and do this event. Uh, because after the pandemic, you know, the last Pravas was in 2019 and we kept on postponing it multiple times and a point came when, uh, you know, everybody wanted to come together but putting together an event was a challenge. Yet, ourselves as the Active and Bursan Car Operators Confederation of India, we jointly do this event. We took a call that it's time we call for Pravas and response has been absolutely amazing. I mean, uh, almost every major OEM, a lot of technology companies from across India have participated into the event. In fact, we received a lot of inquiries internationally also. This year, there is a delegation from Africa. Yeah. But we had, uh, you know, interest from Europe, interest from North America, and far away places people wanted to come and head. Of course, because of COVID restrictions, that did not happen. But uh, what we could put together was a show which was a confidence building show. What it has done is, it has brought back the confidence in the in all those who are in passenger transport and public transport that yes, we have gone through pandemic, we know the challenges and we know how to overcome in future what we need to do to probably create more safety and security, what we need to do to bring in technology to make the travel more smarter and how can we make it more sustainable because now it has to become cost effective also. So our core theme of safe, smart and sustainable passenger transport was an instant hit and uh, many operators, I mean number of operators who came for the program, I think today the count has crossed 10,000 visitors and operators in a day for come for the program. So uh, uh, exhibition has received excellent response, those who have participated want to come back again and again. In fact, they are asking for uh, the next date of Pravas, when Pravas 4.0 will be. Uh, we will deliberate on this. Yeah. But by and large, we have followed the format of alternate year. And typically, we have done it in the month of July, August. So I can safely say that uh, those who are watching the video and have unfortunately missed it, I have heard about it and want to be part of Pravas again. Uh, please block your diary for the month of August in 2024 for sure. And uh, we'll be back to you soon with the dates and announcements, um, making this event even bigger, better, larger, engaging, impactful, and whatnot. As you are into clean energy, green mobility, as you are focusing more on it, uh, how would you promote alternative fuels uh, in CV industry? So one of the biggest takeaways which emerged out of the entire conversation that happened at Pravas 3.0 is that I think everybody wants to move away from fossil fuel and government mandate is also towards EVs by and large but what we are going to probably see in the coming few years is that if you look at the capacity building that we require like I'll just put the number in context the kind of growth that we are talking about we manufacture about 70,000 vehicles uh, in a year and then there is a scrapping policy with the scrapping policy we won't be able to even add more buses while the need of the hour is to have to add another 30 lakh buses to really meet the growing demand now there is another very interesting not just the statistics but the insight I would say globally there are about 5 or 6 buses per thousand population I'm talking about in India this number is as meager as just one bus and maybe slightly more in the bigger city. Now, if we want to create that kind of a capacity building, only looking at EV is not going to be enough. At the same time, we want replacement to fossil fuel. So I think what we are going to see is alternate energy in whichever form it comes. So whether it is CNG, whether it is uh, coming from biofuels, whether it is coming from flex engine, which Honorable Minister Garkariji uh, talks about, or for that matter, 
the kind of research that is happening in hydrogen cell. I wouldn't be surprised if very soon, very soon we will see hydrogen cell also hitting the market maybe in the next four to five years. So it becomes that much more challenging to manufacturers. It becomes that much more challenging to operators to deal with multiple platforms and multiple, uh, you know, uh, fuel uh, based. Uh, but that's the way it is going to be. Uh, it is going to be uh, diverse. It is going. So it's like a. Uh, you know, it's a bouquet of uh, different things which will be offered, Thank and we should we all uh, should be ready for that. I think there is a great deal of acceptance. The only problem with EV right now, particularly with uh, uh, operators, is the price. Uh, price point is high. Uh, return, of course, one when calculates it uh, over uh, uh, eight, ten, twelve years, then then the definite return. But how do you convert that capex to opex? Yeah. If that happens, if banks come forward, if there are innovative models which are created for repayment, then probably EV will pick up. Also, because of the technology advancements and more and more people opting for EV, government is doing that in a big way, the cost would also start coming down. So all in all, uh, I think EV will start becoming more affordable in, in time to come and uh, it, it's time for multiple options, but certainly a movement away from Diesel. Yeah. I like, I can, yeah. Since we are also talking about reducing the carbon content and I have seen a lot of flexes of Pravas promoting passenger vehicles over private vehicles. So could you give us four more insights or probably advices to our audience where people should promote more into public sector as compared to the private cars? You see, it's a very um, tricky question to answer. What do people want? People want safety, people want ease of travel, people want comfort, people want predictability. If I go from the house at 7 o'clock and I have to reach at 8 o'clock, then which is the mode of transport which will take me from point A to point B safely, securely, in an affordable manner. In the last few decades, unfortunately, we have started more and more relying on personal cars and personal vehicles whether it's, and do you really think that on the kind of sometimes roads which are there in the city and uh, how much unsafe it is from Kaf Parade to Dombivri if you have to drive down or let, let's say even Santa Cruz or uh, Malar yeah. it takes more than two hours in the course of 10-15 kilometers in the course of yeah and even then people opt for their own vehicles because of dependency so People want comfort. Now that is why metro comes in. Because metro gives you that clean environment. If they don't come there because, you know, it has some great uh, steel body built. It is because it is safe, secure, predictable. It tells you uh, the next uh, uh, one will start at 617 and reach at 648. And that is what you want. I think with technology intervention, that is what we are going to see. If I know on my mobile app that the next bus is coming within the next seven minutes. I will opt for standing on the bus stand and opt for that bus. I'm talking about the uh, intracity. Yeah. Is it difficult? No. Platforms are there. We have not yet adapted it, but that movement has started. So you will see technology intervention playing an, uh, a big role. Uh, second thing is better infrastructure. Uh, Boki has been consistently demanding uh, to the government that on the regulatory fund we require. Uh, you know, common boarding points. Yeah. It's not about private sector or public sector. Yeah. It's about passenger common. mobility. Yeah. Government is not competing with private sector. What do we see in airlines? 90% of the traffic is by the private aircrafts. Yet, airports are made available to them. There is an airport authority of India which facilitates their participation in taking passengers from city A to city B. Why can't that happen? In buses, that's a simple question. Why can't we have one bus stand where everybody plays? Government, private sector. So that will become, and then that infrastructure could be better. So as you start delivering more predictability, more safety, more security, uh, uh, smart way of operations where time factors and all those are, you know, well managed, maintained and all that, I think more and more people will come. 
I am very bullish about it uh, for the simple reason that uh, I see now a uh, lot of PPP, public private partnership, taking shape. Yeah. So, bus operators from private sector are working for STUs. Yeah. Prime Minister is talking about Bhagidari, yeah. and that message is going down very well to everyone. Uh, today, Armani sir, our uh, board secretary, yeah. came and addressed the gathering. Now, he comes all the way from Delhi on Pravas platform to address private operators, what it shows. It shows that they are very serious about, you know, engaging with yeah. private sector because today 90% of the passenger movement today, not many people know this, but it is done by private sector. If there are 18 lakh buses in the country, more than 16 and a half lakh buses are owned right. by private sector. Mm -hmm. So, private sector is actually the backbone of our entire passenger transport. And the due importance and I would even add a word respect that is required to be given was not given or was you know uh, there was an oversight probably on the part of stakeholder but now everybody realizes that we need to work together as one team with unified vision and that is why in the coming years uh, you will see a major shift back to uh, passenger transport where uh, people will off for instead of going by car or a two-wheeler are going by metro, connected buses, yeah. you know, better roads, footpaths, uh, you know, e-scooters, so integrated, 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 yeah. yeah, so yeah. integrated uh, yeah. multimodal transport is. is